Ah, yes. This is how bear traps work, right? But I'm sure my little fellow over here can help. Welcome to the devlog of my game Through the Dark, made for the 7 days Reggie's Game Jam 2021.1. I am Valerie. The theme for this jam was Stronger Together, and a few days earlier I saw a platformer in a dark dungeon of glowing mushrooms. I decided I want something like this too. So it just needed to fit the theme. But what is better? than having a pet that accompanies you. Right. Nothing. So sitting there on the couch, I thought about the type of pet. If those budgies just weren't that loud. Please, can't they be... Wait. Yes. A burp. Everyone loves burp videos, right? This fully black guy here is the main character, a little boy. He was out with his bird, until he suddenly dropped down a hole and fell. This is where we first shown when starting the game, the main intro. I integrated the main menu directly into the game scene. When you start the game, it starts right with a cutscene. And I think this looks really nice, due to the cinematic bars. Or however you call them. Those are just two black bars, which I scale up along their y-axis. This was done in two minutes and gave those scenes, yes, there are more, a fantastic feeling. The bird wakes up the boy and, what a luck, he purchased this rare lighted bird. Back then in the zoo shop, the bird is the main light source in this dark cave. Right now, there are those light beams coming from the surface. The simple tutorial, written on the walls, introduces the player what to press and what to do. You can freely switch between the boy and the bird, but the bird is always teleported back to the boy's shoulder when switching back. This is faster for the player and surely easier to implement. Hey, did we fall down here? Maybe we could… Nah, can't leave the boy alone there. The controls feel all the way a bit clunky and not really platformer-like. But this comes in addition that there are no real platformer elements. The hardest moves are some easy jumps. The player is a little hurt boy, not some Italian super guy or a red-haired mountain climber girl. But he can die. This is where those checkpoint torch things come to play. Most parts of the game are too dark to see anything. So everything is slowed down. This is not about rushing. The player is intended to use the bird to watch out the environment and to check where it is safe to jump. Then there are those doors, which tell you what they need. A key? So take the bird and search it. It's quite simple and linear. But without the bird, the boy wouldn't be able to go any further. This makes the main part of the theme stronger together, even packed in the story. Those blocks, they look like stone, but what boy could move stone blocks? So I guess they aren't made of stone, strange. I also added some scenery with a backstory. So take your time to think about what the author wanted to say and write an interpretation with at least 2000 words. It shows some greedy people who wanted those diamonds. But they died, because they couldn't get back. This part of the map can't be escaped by the boy, but you can easily observe this by using the bird. If a player would come down here, he has to kill himself. So better don't do this. On the other side of the ladder, there is this door. The knob is on the other side, and as design says, the bird needs to reach it. So the player knows somewhere there is a path, he needs to find it. Right above, there's another scenery. This time, the interpretation is up to you. And hey, take a look at this little drop falling down. What is this green slime even? I don't know. 
On some platforms, there are those typical spikes jumping out from the floor. You can hear them when you are close enough. This was also my first time using this 3D sound. This is quite simple in Unity. But comes with the downside that you can hear the sounds everywhere around the given radius, also through walls. My personal highlight, you've already seen it in the intro, is the bear trap. One may try to jump over it, which is doomed to fail. Oh, by the way, when dying, your progress is not reset. So let's say you opened the door and died before the next checkpoint. The door stays open. I could now tell you something about psychology and difficulty in game jams, but nah, this was just the easiest way. I didn't want to watch all the possible elements, okay, there aren't that many, and reset them only that the player is annoyed of doing something again. So win-win. The bear trap is the only thing that resets it, but also just when the player activated it. Better you use your bird to push this little stone. So this is almost anything you can explore in this little cave. This is our way up. Are you ready? Nah, let me first show you some technical things. This is the whole map. It's not big and it's dark. I created this by using the Unity Render Pipeline. This gave me the opportunity to make some real nice 2D lights. But let's take a closer look at the map by enabling my debug light. <laughs> the world itself is made with a tile map and some tile assets that were drawn by me. The fog is just made of some white, soft brush strokes with different opacity. Doesn't it look beautiful? And this part. <laughs> Everything glowing had a light source on it. Lighting in the appropriate color, like the mushrooms or the diamonds. The torch animation is made by just three sprites, because I were too lazy. Please, don't look too close. And it's not a fire if there are no particles, right? The light flickering itself was just randomly changing the intensity of the light source. And a very cool feature with the 2D lights are the sprite lights. The light beams are just some drawn soft strokes and then used as the source of this light. So you can see this beauty of a surface. How about one of the endings now? Wait, one? Ah yes, there is a hidden ending. But let's go with the default ending for now. No way back, the music switched. <laughs> Grab your pants and make some notes for your game interpretation. So, if the ending might not be clear to you... The boy died falling down. I mean, look at this. His head. And damn, it was very deep. His adventures down there is his inner process of realizing his death. The bird is his guidance and helps him overcome the fear. When he finally reaches the surface, he sees the light. He becomes the light. He found his inner peace. Surely the bird didn't die on the fall, how could he? He is just happy that he helped his beloved human, besides the sadness of the death. But 
wait, what if the bird doesn't want to do this, you ask? If his human kept him captured against his will and he just hated the boy? Ah, let's see. Thank you for watching. If you want to play the game, even though you've already seen everything, the link is in the description. If you enjoyed the content, consider liking and subscribing, and I'll see you next time.